basically we have eight sims going in to enter the house this one is james center and jelly grissy for then we have myself angelina glass we have 8-bit dylan we have barbie we have kayla and then we have red ah it's red <laughs> red is our first hoh winner so the two nominees of the week dylan 8-bit dylan um and Della Grissy wins the hoop competition between Della Grissy and 8-Bit Dylan, and Ren wins the veto challenge. Is the competition over? <gasps> oh, I think it's over. He won. Dylan won. I've taken myself off the block. Oh, Jacob, you are up on the block. Dead with Deli. I'm the first one to go out. <laughs> I'm good. In today's episode, if you guys don't know how this works, will be the HOH competition, and then also who's the have-nots for the week, and of course, also, just to put in there, who's going up on the block. If you don't know how the game works, I'm going to recommend you guys go check out those episodes. I'm not going to continue to explain how this all works. I've explained it, I think, in thorough enough detail. Everything has gone through, you know, from HOHs to vetoes to evictions, and so I think we're just good to start playing. But this episode in particular, we are starting this Saturday, so more than likely, if you're watching it on the YouTube video and not the 24-hour live feed, which is basically just raw footage, I probably will be skipping almost all of this time, and we'll just go into the HOH competition, which is set up in the backyard. This week's this week's challenges and stuff all revolve around logic. So, they've been working on their logic skills and stuff, and like I said, right now, Ren is HOH, and she cannot participate in the HOH competition because she won HOH last week. So, she'll be sitting this one out, which means she can go up on the block, but she cannot be a have not. Welcome to the second HOH challenge! Now, I had to pause this weird week because I had forgot I set up everything, and then I realized I had too many tables. So, basically, what is going to go happen is that I did this in order of what their placements are down here. Angelina got paired with Barbie. And then Kayla got paired with James, because we gotta skip Ren. Then Deli and 8-Bit were at the very end, and so they got uh put to the back and so whoever wins will go again deli any bit essentially it's gonna happen so forth and so forth and so we only have one winner we are gonna get started i'm very very excited to say the least so yeah i hope you guys are excited too like i said ren is sitting over here in the corner this is where deli 8-bit will go now as you guys if you guys missed last week's episode they have been building their logic skill over the past week and the logic tables will get taken away but they have been building their skill over the past week and guess what that means some people are gonna be much better than the others and some people have great advantages just because 8-bit and deli did not get to sit out what well, got sit out does not mean this is also not based on if you like someone or not because a lot of these people actually have really good relationships with one another i'm assuming I I'm very curious. Also, do you guys like my checkers board? I think I did a nice job. It's gonna take me a bit to clean up, but I like it. This is not important. <laughs> it's not important. Let's get started. I'm also gonna put it on two to kind of make things speed up just a little bit faster. Like I said, the only thing that I could change is the fact the weather could get really hot or something. Also, if anybody's uncomfortable, by the way, that's because that's where they left themselves. Like, Kay was kind of tired. <laughs> it's their fault before they jumped in there. Oh, 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 it looks like we could have a winner over here. Ah! Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting really nervous. I don't know who I want to win. Wait, did we have a winner? Yay, Barbie! Uh, yay, I guess. I don't know. I really want Angelina. I kind of want Angelina win. But Angelina is the... F oh, she's a have not twice. I have a poor woman. Okay, so it's Angelina. So between uh, James and Kayla. Kayla's not looking like she's doing too hot. And it's James! Oh, wow. Okay, the same two people. Yeah, Kayla's also a have not. Okay, I have just now set them up. We're gonna get going. I'm very, very excited. Okay, and then whoever wins this one, whoever wins these two, will go up against one another. And then whoever wins that one will win HOH this week. Also, I'm gonna try to decorate the room towards them as well. I'm very, very excited about this. If you see that now. Oh, it does kind of look like Deli's moving inwards on Barbie. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who I want to move forward. I feel like I'd be really impressed with 8-Bit moves forward, to be honest with you. Uh, I think Barbie's a really good fighter. I feel bad for Kayla because I think she could really roll if she was HOH, but it's, it's fun. Oh, okay, so we do have a winner. They shouldn't. So James is the winner again. All right. Okay, so whoever it is, it's going to be either James against Deli or James against Barbie. Oh, it's kind of looking maybe like James against Barbie. Oh, 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 I think it's James against Barbie. It is James against Barbie. Do you see that look, though? 
Look at that. Like, you better win. You know that look? That's our look. So Tim is going to lose it by herself. All right, All right. Here we go. The final. Second H-O-H one. Who's going to be crowned? Oh, my Jesus. Okay, due to cheating, we are going to have a rematch. So, once again, Barbie against James. I don't know who's going to win. Now, if she wins this time, It's I would say it's fair and square, and Barbie can definitely be HOA. But if she doesn't win, then we know it wasn't fair and square, and that she wasn't actually the greatest competitor. And that, my friend, is T. Oh, T with a hit of mic. Very interesting. You can see which ones worked on chess the most, I guess. <laughs> I was kind of throwing my hat behind Barbie, though, because she... She did so well in um, the HH challenge last week that I was like, oh, oh, I think she's like a high content, you know, and she's pretty good at building relationships as well. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, Barbie won. Okay, so once again, I'm going to say that this is Barbie. So we are going to crown Barbie as our champion, wherever her face is. She is our champion. She is our HOA. And on Wednesday, very soon for you guys, very not soon for me, um, we will have our nomination ceremony taking place i'm gonna go set up some stuff i'm gonna set up the backyard again oh, i'm gonna change the hoh to be more significant towards barbie even if that's just like a color change it doesn't really matter to me i just want it to be much more barbie. okay we are back guys and we are here to play the game so i have changed some things as you guys can see the backyard is back to normal but the next week's challenge is all about painting so now we get to play they get their own decision if they're gonna you know paint or not no one should have the painting skills this is a brand new skill and they have all week up to next week you know week from today to learn this painting skill and they're decorated around the house i think there's one two three four five seven people so not everybody can paint at once but i don't think everybody's, everybody's gonna paint at once also barbie did get a makeover in her room and the only other difference is the fact that i put a tv in here instead of like a desk i mean instead of a computer because i think a tv could be much more of you and then also fun fact on wednesday her friends the, the two highest people in the house that are closest to barbie will also be allowed into the hlh room to be able to use the extensive seeds all right everything else i think stays the same except for the easels and stuff let's go ahead and get on started is now i can only play with barbie uh so hopefully barbie can take care of her needs and stuff but also the goal here is for everybody to talk to barbie as much as possible if they haven't already talked to barbie just for the simple fact that barbie will be the one choosing you know if you can go home or not it will be a pretty big you know in that regard also it's not a bad thing that Del Grissi and Kayla are both have not um it might seem like a bad thing but building that handiness skill like I've said in the past is actually kind of crucial to the game as there will be handiness challenges going forward I don't know what week that is yet but it will happen and also cooking like I said will be part of the last few weeks as well and so building a cooking skill is also not a bad thing if you're here for you know from the beginning and stuff my sim is no my sims are notorious for not eating their actual food that they cook but that's fine. Also, Rent is officially now a part of the house and she cannot partake in the goodies. I really hope people will, if no one paints this week, it's not necessarily a bad thing either. Um, painting is, you know, just means they get an advantage. You know, you gotta have your fun down. Also, some people don't like to paint, but that just means everybody will be pretty even in their challenge. I just wanna make sure there was enough out. It was just like Russell. That's cute. Oh, so is Ren. Oh, it's a peaceful day for them. Good for them. I'm also very curious to figure out where her relationships lie. Now, I can't figure out skills or anything under those lines. Deli was my repair woman. <laughs> All last week. Oh, okay, Angelina. You're just gonna go from one repair to another. Okay, so Ren is talking. Oh, 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 oh I, I clicked on. Ah! Oh, no. I hate the fact she's talking to Barbie, but I, I, I do gotta pull her away. Okay, now no one should be allowed in her room except her. Very much the point. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna go up. I actually don't know how well... Like, for a long time there, you know, I thought maybe she would be, like, maybe Ren would be safe because they, they did talk quite a bit. But I don't even know. Also, that guitar, I did think of something we could do for that. I don't have a H... That's going to be one of those weeks where the veto challenge isn't going to be, like, very spectacular, I don't think. But I do have something really cool for, um, like, actual HOH challenge. But it's going to happen when we're down to, like, four. So it's it's a while away. All right. I need to start jumping around. <laughs> James and Del, you're talking. I really do hope we get a show. I don't have anything in my game that can automatically trigger a showman because I didn't want turn on anonymous woohoo or anything like that so people don't just start anonymously doing things <laughs> now i kind of feel like i want to because i do kind of want a showman in the game like a power couple so i'm not really sure yet. oh 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 kayla is asleep oh kayla's sleeping in bed we'll give her a tv after Vita. so for the last few days she's hoh she can have a tv it will simply be based on her but i feel like if i'm giving her a tv now it's just not fair you know what i mean um after veto and thing it will be based on her and the people the two people she lets in her room you know her closest and nearest dearest friend that means she's not going to be outside 
outside talking to people and the whole point here is to get her outside and talking to people Ren still kind of talked to people at the computer but it was a really big hassle and so I'm thinking allowing her Saturday and Sunday or like those last few days to have a luxury like that might be much more the way I go that way everybody's like out in the game in play I think that's the important aspect here but I've not been really assigning beds because like we talked about before I just don't think it's I think if they want to sleep on the couch outside they should be it's their choice <laughs> Is essentially my answer to the, to the little argument that could be made there. They want to sleep in a nice comfy bed. It's also their choice. Like Deli and Kayla and Ren and Barbie are. But wait, oh, oh, she is off. See, like her sleeping on there. Yeah, she has a bed. She'd go to her bed. As much as I like people sleep through the evening. Barbie like, hey, Deli, could you just point it? Uh, he, oh, thank you, 8-Bit. That's very kind of you. But James is now up with Deli. Mm, think if I put a flirt in there, do you think they would note it? Yeah, I think they would. Uh, but Sims don't organically flirt. <laughs> A problem. We can't have a showman. I should have turned on anonymous woohoo first week. So if we ever do this challenge again, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe this this version just won't happen. You know, we didn't come in as a couple. Oh, everybody's picking up that guitar. Smart choices, people. Now start painting. That's smart choice because painting is more important, which I don't think anybody's used yet. Maybe not. The guitar becomes more of an issue. I might have to get rid of it. Sacrifice that entertainment. Ooh, Barbie is awake. He is making some food. Now she's also talking Del Grissy. I'm also very excited to see the update kind of on um, relationship panels and stuff because like we won't get a full update because if so, we would be with Ren. Maybe I could get a full update. I realized last week was the option. We could get an option for... Um, a, a challenge like who would get the hoh would get to pick at the nomination so this week should be a queer vote like whoever leaves should be pretty clear and you only need three to go home yeah three people to go home that's gonna be so much easier to keep track of people once we get down to the lower numbers <laughs> oh, i'm just kidding i'm not oh, oh, okay so weird ren is such a bigger player maybe she knew she messed up the first week <gasps> She needs to be talking to Barbie though, because here's the thing: like they are really, they were, they were hitting it off. They hit it off pretty nicely. Part of the reason why Barbie didn't go up the first week is they hit it off pretty nicely those first few days in the house. Now they haven't hit off once. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the guitar. Hope people paint. <laughs> I think it took a little while for people to get, like watch it get up. So Barbie's just upstairs in that corner. It does look like the kitchen might be the object of conversation now. It does go back and forth quite a bit. Oh, oh, Angelina, where was those? Where was that fitness skill in the beginning? <laughs> Ooh, okay, Barbie and Ren. See how it's much smaller? Not that I'm paying attention. That's I have to always pay attention to that stuff. To kind of get a good read. I think Ren could possibly go up. And I, I would say she does go up. Oh, oh, there was a bigger. And I had mentioned this in the past as well. That if Ren does go up and eventually, I think she probably would. It would be because that first week she just did not talk to me. I was kind of nervous that maybe, maybe there's not a relationship there. But I think there might be a relationship there. Even tying conversations are like good conversations. We can all agree on that. I'd say any conversation is a good conversation in this house. Because I feel like all this time they spent on other things, they could probably spend on painting. You love how we have people in their aspirations. And that's to be funny. Oh, oh, we have some cursing um i don't think caleb likes a bit how fascinating to be honest with you i am i am extremely fascinated by that uh, like i said he's a little bit of a struggle maver I, i'm not lying because honestly truly he oh oh Oh, there's some chaos going on. Like chaos, I tell you. Taking a freaking hug. I cannot handle the hugging. <laughs> That's my opinion about the situation. I cannot handle the hug. The only person to hug though so far. Oh, Barbie and Ren are not getting along whatsoever. Oh, I, I, I feel like I feel like there was trust misbroken. I'm not sure. Maybe it was the fact that I was kind of close with Barbie, and Barbie knows that maybe I was a target. You know, I don't know. I'm not sure. But I, I do feel a little bit of a mistrust there going on, and that does make me very, very interesting. Um, once again, just like how. I feel like Kayla does not really like 8-Bit. Like, there is drama a brew it. I don't know if it will ever come to head. Um, 8-Bit only had a few people he was, you know, not in great terms with. So, I don't know if those things are still existing, because I don't think Barbara... I could be wrong. That's the important part of doing this, though. Oh, 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 but tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., we're having... I think we're having a nomination ceremony. Okay, wasn't prepared. But now we are here. Okay, Ren. I don't know what you're doing, but okay. Oh, you see what I mean? She is a tricky player, and I like it. I think I'm, I, you know, I think I'm a little biased. I think I'm throwing my hand behind Kayla. I think, I think that's who I think could win. I think there's a really high possibility of that one. And you know what? I really like the idea of it. I do. I very, very much do. Also, just to say that, um, the two people that I had created prior to this, such as me, have both made it to the HOHs. I'm just a great Sims player, you know, not to toot my own horn, but my horn has been. I'm sure I could probably find a romance anonymous mom, though. I'll look into it, though. Throw it in the game. See what see what spice happens and we might throw in like a painting and novice mod just to help the game because they have to do it i can't help the game i'm helping the game from like an outside source <laughs> essentially is the answer because they all sell for 50 bucks and we're gonna be sitting there for a while and they're gonna paint a lot of paintings so eventually somebody will get ahead but it's gonna take a minute james is in the bathroom
bathroom. Going to the bathroom. So it's just James. Not James is cleaning. Do you like a cleaner? The more these people live in this house, the dirtier it gets. So happy people are cleaning. I can control them, by the way, because they are have nots is part of, of the rules. Have nots can be controlled. Um, to do have not tax, which are repairing. Some people go into really cool things. I'm just I use them as like mate. Essentially, they lost challenge, and so this is their punishment for losing. It's more their fault than anything else. Oh, it's 8:24 in the morning. Oh my word, I had no idea. Oh guys, this is this is it. This is the moment. People need to need to do things. People need to talk to Barbie. Barbie needs to be spoken to. to save your butts. You're gonna try to save your butts. Or you're gonna try to live with your butts. Let me know in the comments what you think is gonna happen. Who you think is gonna go up? I would love to know what your guys' votes are in the comments in the description down below because genuinely, I am curious. I genuinely don't know. You know, I'm not really sure. I have a few ideas and predictions since I'm gonna put this out there. Ren is a low one. I don't know if she is the lowest, but she is a low ball. So um, she could be one of the two that go up. I'm declaring that now. To be honest with you, I think, oh, it's 1014. It is 1014. You know what that means? I will be right back. I'm gonna go set up the nomination meeting and then we'll do nominations. Welcome to tonight nomination ceremony tonight i we putting up two people on the block hopefully everybody did what they're supposed to and talk to me i still think it's gonna be ren who is the who's the second person i think maybe james or angelina angelina has some some pretty cool perks i don't think she'll ever be in the bottom two to be honest with you oh my god maybe not i'll i might i oh you guys excited i'm excited okay let's do this ren right now has a 10 oh that that's a low blow oh no ren Oh, that's not good. Oh, it has come up just a little bit in her defense. Angelina has a 16. Kayla has a 28. I tell you, Kayla is playing a game. And Delhi has a 25. Who's the second person? I think maybe James. James has a 36. Oh my gosh. A 36? And Dylan has a 12. I was like, it's going to be James. See how much I don't know. It's Dylan and Ren who are in the bottom two. So this is the second week 8-Bit by Dylan has been in the bottom two. He was giving hugs out. I thought it was Redemption Arc is not. I think it's going to be Kayla. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's Kayla and James who get to play with the, um, who get to go into the HOH room as well. Let's go ahead and put everybody inside their, their chairs. And that, my friend, will include tonight's nomination ceremony. I will see you tomorrow evening for the veto competition. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a... I don't know. It wasn't as, like, I'm, I'm getting into the group of the series, and so, like, I think that's really just the reason why. But I had a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited for the veto competition to see if if it works or not. Um, I'll explain the veto competition tomorrow in case you guys are brand new here. Uh, next time. This next episode will go hopefully on Friday. So, that is the plan. These are also premiering, so if you guys want to tag along for the premieres and vote along the way, you totally can. I'm curious. I have a feeling out of the two that went up, Redden still has a bigger chance of going home, even though 8-Bit is causing a lot of problems, and that is just because of the fact that Ren just did not play the game the first week. She got HOH, and then she was just like, eh, I'm out. And I think that's truly what it is. I think it's like, eh, I'm out. I don't think it's a power play. I don't think this is anything. See, that's very interesting. I think going forward, as we get higher and higher up into these numbers, more of these are going to be more like, oh, that kind of looks like an alliance. Eh, that kind of looks like this or whatever. Like the 36, I see you bottom two. I see what you're trying to do. You know what I mean? And so I think that's important to take note of. I think that's important because guess what? If 8-Bit takes himself off, Delhi goes back up. Yeah, that's where we're at again. Or if uh, Ren takes herself off the block and then it's Ren's original choices as the bottom two. Isn't that crazy? There is a few hours in between you know, the video challenge and this. The video challenge takes place at like four to five at night. So there, there is a few hours in between, but it is insane, I tell you, in this household. Let me know guys, you guys are enjoying the series, what you guys like about the series, what your favorite thing is. Also, who are you rooting for? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.